That's fine, isn't it? For those of you keeping track, there were, uh, let's see, how many measures in that piece? All right, I'm stuck. 143. There are 97 changes of time in that 143 measures. Yeah. Um, it's a good workout for me, too. My very small brain is a good workout on that one. Um, so, the next group of folks that I want to recognize, one, another one of sort of the capstone projects that these kids are able to be a, a part of is a solo ensemble contest. It's an event that we host um, alongside with the Rosemont High School Band program here at ECU in late February. And students are, um, they are able to work with their, with their teachers on a solo and or an ensemble to perform with the accompanist in front of, uh, of a judge. And we really find that solo ensemble contest is one of those, those times when kids make tremendous growth as individuals. It really sets them up for the audition season, which is going on right now. We have had many, many students who participated this year, and it's, it takes a lot of courage to stand up in front of somebody and play by yourself. Um, what, what we do out here on stage, there's kind of safety in numbers, but when it's just you, it's, it, it, it is, there's a lot of courage that goes into that and also a lot of growth. So I'd like to um, just publicly recognize all the students that took part in the, in the contest. I'd like to ask those students that received superior ratings on a solo and or an ensemble. You guys can stand, you recognize. This next piece of music is actually written as uh, a suite of two, um, and we're going to perform them separately with uh, applause in the middle because the pieces are so different and the history is so different. Um, this next piece is, I don't know, it's like it's just one of those pieces that for, for bands, like you have to have kids play this piece. Um, it's, it's that good. We had uh, Professor Jerry Bluecart visit us last Friday from the University of Minnesota to do a last minute clinic with these guys. And I think he said it best. He said, the Irish tune from County Derry is first year rangers get to the band world. I was like, yes. That's what I've wanted to say all my life. Um, it's, it's one of the most recognizable melodies. You'll, you'll know it in four notes. And it's, it really is one of the most stunning pieces of music I think I've ever written for Bam. So this is the Irish tune from County Derry. <laughs> 